Six ways to use Mac Automator with your browser. Automator is one of the most underappreciated tools on your Mac. It takes a while to get the hang of, but once you have an idea how to use it, you can automate all kinds of useful tasks, from opening URLs to downloading images. One of the best ways to use Automator is with its browser commands. These can save you a lot of time with regular actions in Safari or your web browser of choice. Many of us visit and revisit certain web pages at the same time every day. Maybe you need to open the same web page every day before you start working. Or maybe you've got a Pinterest board of motivational quotes you like to read every Monday morning. Either way, you can save yourself some time by making Automator open those web pages for you. Here's how. Open Automator from the Utilities folder in your applications, or search for it with Spotlight using CMD plus space. Create a new document, then choose Calendar Alarm. Select Internet from the sidebar and drag the Get Specified URLs action to the workflow on the right. Remove the default URL and add the page you want Automator to open. For this example, we used the Make Use of homepage. Now drag the Display Web Pages action into the workflow and place it below the previous action. You'll see one produces output and the other takes input. So they're connected. Hit the Run button in the top right corner to test the alarm. Automator should open the web page you entered in your default browser. If it doesn't, double check that you followed all the instructions above. Finally, go to File Greater Than Save to save the project. When you do so, Calendar opens a new event, in our case. It's called Display Make Use Of. Edit the event in your calendar to repeat whenever you want Automator to open that URL. In the example above, Automator will open Make Use Of every Friday at 5 50 p.m. Make any desired changes here so the page displays at your preferred days and times. There are probably groups of web pages you always open together. For some, that might mean five different social media accounts. Others may always open their work email, calendar, and to-do list. Again, go to internet and drag get specified URLs into the workflow. Then add the list of web pages you want Automator to open at the same time. We used a few Hearthstone related pages. Save the application with a meaningful name. Then launch it using Spotlight to open a huge number of web pages with just a few keystrokes. We called this Automator application, Hearthstone Red, and can use it to open four URLs in an instant. This is a workflow automation, which means you need to run it from within Automator. Even though opening Automator might seem like an extra step, this is still a much quicker way to download all the images from your active web page. Again, go to the Internet category in the sidebar. This time, add Get Current Web Page from Safari to the workflow. Unfortunately, this workflow only works with Safari, but in many ways Safari is a better browser than Chrome. Between Safari and Chrome on Mac, Safari is the clear winner. Here's why you should avoid using Google Chrome on Mac. Below that, add Get Image URLs from Web Page and set the Get URLs of Images drop down to on these web pages. Add Download URLs to the bottom of the workflow and set your preferred download location. We chose to stick with the Downloads folder. To download all the images from a specific web page, open that page in Safari and run this workflow in Automator. Depending on how many images are on that page, it might take a while to download. After downloading images, you can resize them, rename them, or reorganize them using other Automator workflows. The Automator app on your Mac makes it easy to automate tedious tasks. Here are awesome time-saving workflows you should set up. You can do something similar with audio or video files by using a slightly more complicated workflow. This makes it possible to download all the audio or video files on a particular web page from within Automator. If you select only returns URLs in the same domain as the starting page, you only get audio or video files hosted on the same domain as the page you're on. Conversely, if you don't select it, you get all the files linked from the page, no matter where they are. Now add the filter URLs action to the workflow. How you set up the filter depends on what you want to download. For example, if you only want MP3 files, set the path to contain MP3. For MP4 videos, set the path to contain MP4, and so on. Then run the workflow from within Automator to download your chosen media from any open pages in Safari. If you ever wished a website would release its own app, or if you prefer to use multiple browsers windows rather than multiple tabs. You might like to use Automator to open a specific web page as its own app. The first action is to get specified URLs, where you need to enter the URL of the site you want to turn into an app. As an example, we use the Google search page. Now add the website pop-up action, which creates an app wrapper for the site. 
you can choose from a number of different settings to change the size and appearance of the website. Now save Automator as an application and give it a clear name, we called ours Google Search. To launch your web app, just double-click the Automator file. Combine RSS outputs with a couple of third-party tools and create a single customized news feed which only contains legitimate stories you care about. We show you how in this step-by-step -step guide. If you're looking for specific topics or phrases, create an Automator workflow to open articles that match a search query in a specific feed. Add the Get Specified URLs action with the URL of the feed, or feeds, you want to search. As an example, we used the RSS feed of BBC World News. Now, create a filter using the Filter Articles action. Let's say we want to pull out any articles about the president, we could set the filter to pick up articles with president, in the title or in the summary. When you run the workflow, you should get a lot of tabs with articles that match your search criteria. Be careful with this workflow. However, as it can result in an enormous number of new tabs. It's a bit complex at first, but Automator can be a hugely useful tool for making your Mac more efficient. It takes a while to get used to the app, but after spending some time with it, you should be able to create all sorts of useful workflows, services, and apps to make you more efficient every day. While we focused on using Automator with your web browser here, there are plenty of other useful Automator apps to create. Using Automator on your Mac lets you make quick work of boring tasks. Here are a few simple workflows you can create in minutes. Text source, makeusub.com. 